didn't care to share uh, one of my newest purchases that I made in December 2022 uh, that was done during the sales season in Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo, Italy. So um, one very sad news to share was that um, previously when I was sharing a lot on the Ferragamo's creation boutiques has already been, um, this line has been cut, has been discontinued already. So there will be no more creation boutiques anymore, which I feel that is kind of a little bit waste because um, they really have a lot of very nice bags that came from the vintage collection, right? And it was reissued. Um, but however, their most popular museum bag is actually readily available in, in, in most of the Ferragamo boutiques already. And I find that out when I was visiting the Ferragamo boutique here in Singapore, and I realized that the museum bag, which was previously only sold in um, creation boutiques, are now readily available in normal Ferragamo boutiques. So this is the bag that I got from uh, my lovely FA, Elena, from the Florence Milan, uh, from Florence, Italy boutique and um, they actually have sales now and um, this is actually what I got so Elena very kindly let me know about their sales in early December and um, but uh, their sales can only be start or they can only start selling on the 18th December or on the 17th December so uh, when Elena uh, uh, when the 17th came, Elena actually helped me to prepare all the stuff. I actually pre-reserved this bag already and she can only like build me on the 17th or 18th kind of thing. Yeah, so let's check out what I've got. This is the Trifolio shoulder bag in Managrena color. So it's actually pomegranate color. It's red in color and um, a very cool kind of red. Actually, when it was first launched, uh, this bucket bag or this shoulder bag, I really love the design. But there's no way I'm going to pay the full retail price for that. So this full retail price, uh, I think cost in Singapore is $2,490 in Singapore. And of course, their classic colors has the black one and the tan color, right? So these are those are the classic color, which I believe is not on sales. And, um, but um, I was thinking that I really have a lot of black bags and I also have a lot of hand colored bags. So I don't really want to go to the same bag with the uh, same colors in again. And just nice, this is on sale. Actually, this is also on sale in Singapore, but um, after 30% discount, it's 1790 or something like that. So it's 2490 minus 30%. Okay. So, but this one that I got from Italy sales is definitely much cheaper, even though I paid the tax that it came into Singapore and all those things definitely and then and I paid for the shipping fee it's still much cheaper than just purchasing from Paragamo Singapore boutique at its sales price so I was really happy that Elena got me this reserved this for me before sales started and um, sent me immediately and um, I actually received this within like three days from Italy Florence and um, Everything is super brand new. Elena know what I want because she know she knows me already now that I, I want somebody uh, something that nobody has touched before. And when she told me when she took it out and, and video it out for me, she just told me that nobody touch. The first thing she said, nobody touch. Very very new. <laughs> so I think she has told me many many times. And yeah. So let's go through with the about the bag. So this is actually a shoulder bag. So this is the only strap itself. There's nothing else. And um, I really like the details here. This is kind of like the Gantini um, logo here where you uh, put your 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 your, your punch holes that big. That part is really nice like a D shape here and then um, there are five holes adjustable. Uh, I, in my video uh, previously I actually shown uh, the, the the different length at first put and the and the and the last hole and I feel that it is best for me personally at the shortest I mean, I put it to the longest, so at the first hole here, so that is the longest now, and it's, it's the best in this, in this, in this length to like shoulder carry it. If it's the shortest hole, it's actually too short, but it is best if you want to just hand help it all over your wrist, if you just want it to be very, very short, a very short strap job. Yeah, so you can see that um, as usual, Alina would always give me my full retail packaging with the shopping bag, the, the box, the dust bag, the ribbons, receipt and everything as well as I'm in the boutique myself. And this is the tag that came with this bag. 
Correct. And uh, like you guys know previously, whenever I buy from Elena, um, it's always gold balls and other things. The gold packaging now no longer. They go back to the normal rate. Their normal classic box instead of the special gold box. Yeah, so this is the bag. It's actually a very simple bag, um, and there's nothing on the bottom, there's no feet, it's like entirely oval shaped. But you'll be surprised at how much you can fit inside. So you open the lock like this. This is actually easier to close and open compared to my museum bag because uh, this one is like, like this, you can do it like that. The museum bag is like a flap, the entire flap, with, um, so it's, it's harder to go um, to, to do the closure. Yeah, but that one takes some seasoning and all those. So this is much easier because it's just one strap here and then you just close it like that. So yeah, there's a Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo uh, embossed on the gold, gold hardware here. On the interior, you open it up, it's really spacious. Uh, it's very vertical, so you have a lot of things you have to put on a vertical direction. And on the interior, there is actually two, two cut spots. There are two cut slots actually. Okay, and um, let's just check out what I've put in the bag. Um, so like a packet of tissue paper, my um, card holder from Danabo, and my MS Master Coin purse. A earpiece. My lip tin and a small Louis Vuitton uh, perfume. Yeah, so uh, there's, that's all about the bag actually. There's nothing much um, about the bag. The leather is actually um, smooth and soft. Yeah, it, it's, it's a little bit not like, not same like the museum bag that I got. The museum bag is, is more sturdy, it's not that soft. Yeah, but I think it's just um, very different altogether. And, but it's, it looks very good and premium to me. And yeah, this is how the bag looks. Um, hold on a second, let me show you guys at this shorter strap. How does it look? So this is at its longest, right? The one that I like the best, shoulder carry. Since I always like my bag to be shoulder carry, so I think this works for me. And if I go to the shortest one, so let's see, if I go to the shortest one. Okay, if you go to the shortest one, you will have um, some some overdue over strap here but it's fine i think this is also a pretty cool design to be honest but um, if you go until the shorter strap um you can see it, it, it's best handheld like that or over your your beef like this it, it's like a very good length and a very good drop but if you put it over your shoulder i mean of course i can do that because i don't have a huge arm but um you, you feel that there is like obstruction here <laughs> because this is like like this so your arms is like this you cannot close your arm yeah, this is something like a little bit obstructing, but it will be best if you can, like, you know, hold it like that or, you know, walk, walk around like this. Yeah, it will be a very perfect bag if you want to do it like that. So I think it just depends on individual how you like to carry your bag and for different styles. Um, for me personally, I definitely do it at the longest strap. Um, it's best as shoulder, as shoulder carry. Yeah, so I think this is all I want to share about this bag. It's a very, very simple bag and um, a very good deal that I saw uh, during the sales. And um, yeah, I think that's all. And thank you very much for watching Channel B. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.